my sound is kind of uh, all over the place. It's kind of like a huge canvas and you take a bunch of different colors and just throw it on there. Um, but my records have evolved and, I, and I'm so glad that they have evolved. I've only, I'm only two records in, just finished a third, but you know, if you listen to my first record, uh, you can definitely hear a bunch, a bunch of the rock influence into country. Um, I think even if I wanted to, uh, to, to make a pop record, I don't think it would be believable because my, I talk this way. Um, and so my first record was, was very, very rock influenced and very uh, more so singer songwriter. Um, and then you got fast forward to my second record. And then I went on this phase where I was addicted to, to James Brown and love, love listening to James Brown. And now listening to the most recent Bruno Mars record, I'm, I'm just completely floored and blown away and wish that I had uh, 1% of the swag that those guys have. But, uh, you know that there's a lot of um, a lot, lot of retro, a lot of throwback um, stuff that's going to be on the next record, and I think that comes from me listening to uh, uh, my grandmother playing me the Bee Gees and, and playing me a bunch of doo wop music growing up, and and uh, being obsessed with the Grease soundtrack. I think I'm inevitably a, a country music artist that just loves to blend all all my favorite stuff from my childhood into into what it is today.